Oh, thank you, Rebecca. We are continuing to follow more of the same out there early on this morning. Not a lot of activity on satellite or radar. Looking mostly clear and mostly dry out there. We do have some of those storms developing just off to our west, but nothing actually in the viewing area. And it looks like we're going to continue to see fairly dry conditions. I don't think there's a lot of rainfall in our near future. A little bit later into the forecast, we might see some storms come back around, but for most of this week, I think we're going to be staying dry, but at least we're a little bit cooler out there. So it's a decent trade-off. Gone are the storms that we've had over the past couple of weeks, but in comes some of those cooler temperatures, though we're not completely out of the woods. We could actually get a couple of showers and storms off to the west around the Davis Mountains. That's the one area that might get a little bit of rain rainfall in our near future. But for the rest of us, high pressure is in place and it is going to help to block any chances for too much rain in our near future. That high pressure not going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to do its job and we're going to be staying fairly dry and fairly clear. A lot of sunshine moving forward and that means more of those rising temperatures. But within reason this time, it's a little bit closer to where we should be for July rather than setting record after record after record like we did over the past couple of weeks and yesterday this is looking a little bit more like it 99 in odessa midland 95 in big spring hundreds yeah we still had a couple of those wink and pecos getting over that triple digit mark but at least this was a bit closer to where we should be with those average numbers and that's exactly what we we're seeing really all across the state in fact some of the warmer temperatures actually started to shift off to our east it's been a while since we've seen any temperatures top what we've been having here in the basin but that's what we had yesterday san Andrew Del Rio both getting above the 100 degree barrier and this morning we're starting off pretty cool out there when you know all things considered compared to where we've been mid 70s not a bad start to the day might be pretty nice when you step outside the door at least it'll feel like a big change of pace for us compared to what we've seen recently even some 60s out there 67 when you go off to the north in Amarillo and we even have some of those 60s here in the basin as well 68 degrees this morning in Seminole we really haven't seen many of those 60s here in West Texas for a good long while now, but finally things are starting to change up for us and those temperatures are taking a little bit of a dip. And that'll be the case into this afternoon as well. 90s all across the northern basin, 94 in Lovington, Hobbs, 97 in Andrews, and down into the central basin, really more of the same out there. 97s in Odessa, Midland. We do have some hundreds, can't completely get rid of those just yet. 100 in Barstow and Grand Falls, but again, nowhere near the widespread sort of heat that we've had recently. Recently. We also were going to look at some more of those hundreds once you get down towards Pecos, but really it's 90s that is going to be the big story out there. Down into the mountains, a little bit cooler than that. We might even see some of those 80s. Valentine, Marfa, Fort Davis coming in into the upper 80s. Not a bad day when it's all said and done. We even have that chance for a few storms there in the Davis Mountains. Could help to cool us off as well, but moving forward throughout the rest of this week, should be staying in upper 90s, lower hundreds. Friday, Saturday. Saturday a little bit warmer, but not.